welcome back to the NASCAR Inside Line. Let's play, ladies and gentlemen. Right now, I'm about to do race 23 of 36. Four races left before the chase. I'm here at Michigan National Speedway here in Brooklyn, Michigan for the running of the Pure Michigan 400. So Watkins Glen, I finished 23rd. Not a good race for me. Uh, last time I was here in Michigan, I think I finished 17th, 18th, around there. I don't remember where, but uh, uh, in qualifying, though, I start 28th. So once again, a bad qualifying spot, which is not surprising at this point in this Let's Play, but uh, I'm sitting 8th in points now. I think I'm I'm definitely good for a wild card spot if I happen to fall outside the top 12, because I have the most amount of wins with 4. So let's just see what happens here in Michigan. 2 mile speedway. Should be interesting. Uh, going from 28th to see if I could get to the top 15. So here we are at Michigan National Speedway here in Brooklyn, Michigan for the Pure Michigan 400. Yeah, should be interesting. Oh yeah, victory lane. There's me right there. The flyover. Very nice. All right, so Greg Biffle will start on the pole. Uh, Case Kane starts second. Carl Edwards starts third, and Martin Truex Jr. starts fourth. Alrighty, let's get going with this race. There's the Pure Michigan 400 Winners Trophy. If you win here at Michigan, don't know if I'm going to get that, honestly. We'll see, though. Anything can happen. So here we go. The pace car is off. Uh, Greg Biffle and Casey Kane will lead us down to the green flag as I will start 28th alongside Paul Menard as we're set to go for 20 laps at the two-mile speedway. Here we go. The green flag is in the air. We are underway here at Michigan National Speedway. Off turn number four to complete the first lap. Greg Biffle will lead the first lap as I'm already moved up six spots. Edwards to the race lead. 212 miles per hour going down into turn number one. And now I'm up to the top 20. So I'm on the move right now. Oh, Jeff Burton into the wall. Oh, Newman. Oh, my goodness. Well, oops, that was my fault. I came up on Stenhouse right there. About to crack the top 15 pretty soon. I'm up to 17th in two laps. So Carl, Carl Edwards to the race lead. Side by side battle for 15th with Dale Knight Jr. and Joey Logano. Oh, cars in the wall up ahead. There's pieces of debris flying everywhere. Oh, it cautions out. Crash on the back straightaway. I think it was Paul Menard. I'm not sure it was a yellow car. And yes, it was Paul Menard. Oh, someone bounced off the wall in turn number two. Oh, yeah, Ricky Stenhouse right there. Someone else into the infield. I only saw Paul Menard. And boy, Paul Menard, a lot of damage for him. All right, so gonna skip, gonna stay out. So Carl Edwards will be the race leader on the restart with Greg Biffle to the outside. I'm gonna restart 14th. So here we go, gonna get back under the green flag. After three laps of green flag, two and a half laps, I should say. And here we go, 16 laps to go, green flag back in the air. Kurt Busch way up high, holding up, up Jeff Burton. We got three wide up ahead. I'm about to crack the top ten pretty soon. Wow, I drove it into turn three. A little bit too hard, but it making it work. Outside of Mark Martin for a top ten spot. And I am in the top ten, now behind Matt Kenseth. 
Three wide for the race lead. Clint Boyer underneath. Whoa, Kane up in the outside wall. A lot of drivers hitting the outside wall off the corner. Here I come, getting a run. Now underneath Johnson for the seventh spot. Greg Biffle, the poster, is falling back to six. That's Clint Boyer to the race lead. Still side by side with Johnson. He's got the run off four, though. Now here comes Casey Kane. Got a battle for second. I believe that's Martin Truex Jr. And I know that's Carl Edwards up there. Alright, so I've fallen back to eighth again. Oh boy, it's like tight up there for the race lead. Here comes Jeff Burton. Side by side for the eighth spot. Boyer starting to pull away. Kevin Harvick underneath Martinez Jr. for the third spot. Boy, burns so close to me right there. Still side by side off turn number two. Down the back straightaway. Side by side. Good bow for eighth right now. But Burn looks like he's going to finally get around me. Now I'm falling back to ninth. Logano now behind me. He rounds up the top ten. This happened to me in the uh, in the last Michigan race too, where I just couldn't find the handling and the speed of the race car towards the second half of this race. I was at 214 miles per hour going into turn number one. That's pretty fast there. Debris all over the place off turn number two. 210 miles per hour. Single foul for most of the pack, the field, I should say. Boy, I'll tell you what, I am tight off four. Now Logano underneath me. I was up to seventh at one point. One driver is down pit road right now. I don't know who it is. Boy, very close right there. Top nine starting to pull away from me. I got Austin Dillon behind me. Here we go. Ten laps to go here on Michigan National Speedway in the Pure Michigan 400. Clint Boyer, the race leader. Clint Boyer trying to get his second win of the season. Clint Boyer, speaking of him as the race leader, he has the fast lap of the race so far with a 35.88. Mine's a 36.48. To be fair, I've been stuck in traffic most of the race. Oh, Austin Dillon! And around I go! Into the outside wall. Stay up here. Austin Dillon turns me. Watch this. Yep, he came up into me. That was all him. Oh, man, Kurt Busch involved. Thanks. Thanks, uh... Yeah, thanks a lot, man. All right, I might as well pit to get fresh tires. I could get these fresher tires than these guys. Well, how many is going to... Oh, wow, most of them going to come down pit road. I got turned by Clint Boyer. I mean, not Clint Boyer, uh, Austin Dillon for no reason. I mean, he came up the track into me. So, I was holding the, uh, the middle line, and then he comes up and, and clips me in the back. I was running pretty good, too. Now I got to see if, how many spots I can make up. All right, uh, I'm gonna do this. Loosen up the car a bit, hopefully. That'll work. So I gotta do it from last place now. Ah, uh, Clint Boyer's down pit road. Could be a really big stack up after the first lap. On the first lap. I don't have any bad damage with the chassis or the tires, so um, 
like with the axle, so I'm not fixing the damage at all. The body damage. Alright, so Carl Edwards will be the race lead on the restart with Martrix Jr. on the outside lane. 17 drivers stayed out. Now I'm going to restart last. This is going to be an 8 lap shootout. Let's see how many positions I can make up. Pace car is off. It's going to be an 8 lap shootout. Will we go green all the way? We're about to find out. Green flag back in the air. 8 laps to go. Outside lane stacking up real bad. Oh, cars in the outside wall. Look at all the positions I'm making up. Four wide. Wow, up to the 25th spot now for 24th on Stenhouse. Oh, burnt in the outside wall off four. Underneath Tony Stewart now. For 23rd. Oh man, did I just dive it down to the bomb? Oh man. Oh, Regan Smith to the outside wall. Robbie Gordon as well. I'm in the top 20. Now, I've got to have some of the better advantage than these guys on worn tires. Who's that sliding up there? Is that Casey Kane? Oh, Regan Smith. Hey, six laps to go. Three wide ahead. Couple of three wide battles. Oh, let me look at me just drive it in there in the corner. It's working though. Kane in the outside wall. Three wide off the corner. Down the back straightaway once again. Up to the 17th spot. Five laps to go now this time by Greg Biffle, the race leader. And it looks like we got a side-by-side -side battle maybe for the third spot, I believe. Yes, it is for the third spot. Casey Kane sliding. Trying to see if I could get into the top 15. What a great recovery by me so far after that spin. Whoa, Clint Boyer sideways. And poor Clint Boyer looked like he was going to have a shot to win this race if it hadn't been for Austin Dillon turning me. Four laps to go. Come on, Josh Weiss, get out of the way. I remember you at Pocono a couple races ago. Screw me out of a top five finish. Oh man, that debris. Just all over the place. I'm trying to crack the top 15 right now. Here we go. Three laps to go for Greg Biffle. As I'm now in the top 15. I'm not sure if I could get any closer. Because top 14 is pulling away. We got a side-by-side -side battle for the race lead. Not quite. Almost. Oh, come on, car, you gotta turn. Boy, did I have to get out of the gas just a little bit. If I did not, I would have smashed that outside wall off, too. Oh, man, whoever's right behind Greg Biffle is just all over. Matt Kenseth sideways a bit. I believe that's Kenseth. It looks like it is. Two laps to go. Yeah, it looks like if Hamlin doesn't catch me, 15th is probably all I'm going to get here. Which is better than where I finished last time I was at Michigan, so... And better than where I thought I was going to be after that spin. I mean, I really made a good recovery. Not a bad recovery to go from last to 15th in a matter of, uh, what, five, six laps? Alright, here we go. White flag is out. Final lap for Greg Biffle. Can he hold on for one more lap? But whoever's right there with him... Here we go. Who's underneath Greg Biffle for the race lead? It's a side-by-side -side battle in the final lap for the race lead. 
Carl Edwards got around Greg Biffle. Down the back straightaway for the final time. And now into turn number three. I think Edwards has some clear. He does. Edwards makes a final lap pass for the win off turn number four. Carl Edwards is going to win the Pier Michigan 400 here at Michigan International Speedway and a final lap pass on Greg Biffle, his teammate, and I am going to end up 15th. You know what? I'll take a 15th place finish despite what happened to me. All right. That was, that was good. That was good for me to recover that quickly, too, to go from last to 15th. So Carl Edwards makes a final lap pass on his teammate Greg Biffle to get the win here at Michigan International Speedway. Greg Biffle second, Dale Knight Jr. third, Mike Trix Jr. fourth, Marcus Ambrose fifth, Scott Speed sixth, Kevin Harvick seventh, David Reagan eighth, Austin Dillon ninth, and Clint Boyer rounds up the top ten. He set the fastest lap of the race back on lap two with a 35.88. Bobby Labonte, 11th, Matt Kenseth, 13th, I finished 15th, Danny Hamlin, 16th, and rounding up the top 20 is Jamie McMurray, 21st, Landon Castle, 24th, Trevor Bain, 25th, Travis Quapel, 26th, Casey Kane, 27th, Kyle Busch, and rounding up the top 30 is Michael McDowell, 31st is Tony Stewart, 35th is Juan Pablo Montoya, 38th, Jimmy Johnson, 39th, Danica Patrick, and rounding up the top 40 is Joe Nemechek. 41st is Mark Martin, 42nd, David Gillen, and finishing 43rd and in last place, Brad Keselowski. Mm. All right, so let's go check the point settings. Now we got three races left. Got Bristol, that's going to be bad for me. Um, Atlanta, I don't know how that's going to go, and Richmond's going to be bad. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see, guys. We'll see what happens in the final three races of the regular season. Should be interesting. It was a good race for me to go from 43rd to 15th. All right, so point standings. Let's check them out. So Matt Kenseth is the points leader by 19 points over Tony Stewart. Montrex Jr., third in points. He is uh, 29 points back. Kyle Busch, fourth in points. He is uh, 25 points back. And Denny Hamlin rounds up the top five points. As a matter of fact, Denny Hamlin and Brad Keselowski tie for the top five in points. They are 48 points back. And I am uh, I am 51 points behind Matt Kenseth as the points leader. And um, Kevin Harvick rounds up the top ten in points. He is uh, 97 points back. And... Carl Edwards, who gets his first win of the season by making that final lap move on Greg Biffle. Um, he is 14th in points. Um, he is 141 points, 143 points back, I'm sorry. And Greg Biffle could have had the fourth win of the season. He could have tied me and Denny Hamlin for the most wins this season, but got denied by that. And here's the rest of the point standings. All right, so three races left. Before the chase starts, next race is going to be at Bristol Motor Speedway in Bristol, Tennessee. Half mile, world's fastest half mile track. Should be hell for me though, but let's just see what happens. So I will see you at Bristol.